coming to these kind of events, it's really interesting to hear from people that have actually walked the talk and are actually living the dream, so to speak. If the future is really about data and the new commodity, as a business or as CFO and leaders, are we going back to values and are we going back to ethics and we're going back to core and we're going back to trust? The key thing for me was being able to know that what I was reporting was the truth and make and hold a line that said this is actually what's happening, not, not just with us but in the market and this is how we're going with respect to the market and we need a strategy to do this or we need to be playing over here or this is actually what we think we're doing is the right thing is actually may not be the right thing. As a finance professional, you always have a gut feeling that there's a potential issue here or a potential opportunity there. And from that gut feeling, it's a matter of how do you access that information. You have a lot of data in a lot of different places. And then you sort of say, well, what data do I actually really need to understand and have my finger on the pulse about the business? Because you can't really evaluate the performance of the business without knowing you know, intimately how that business is performing. And that really proves to be the driver to, in fact, the business wanting the product as opposed to you trying to force it down their, their throats. Getting off of the drug of Excel but, um, and standardizing, bringing all that intellectual property that sits on everyone's laptops and on their hard drives and creating a standard of a way that when we're sitting in a board meeting or we're sitting in an operational meeting, when we look at a chart, we can, with consensus and confidence that these are the right numbers, right? And then the ability to drill down, right, and be inquisitive about really what's impacting these numbers. We're not spending debate time during a meeting that, oh, my numbers are right, how come your numbers are different? You know, some people say the CFO is now becoming the leader of the organization. The board uh, and the CEO are looking at the CFO for um, the current temperature of the business in terms of how it's doing, right? And then what's the outlook, right, uh, for the business? Hopefully what we're demonstrating here that size doesn't matter after all, because I think when it comes to data insights, it doesn't matter whether you're a 50 or a $20 million business or whether you're a $200 million business, you need to have tools that are gonna make and bring this to the forefront.